We've got the Grizzlies in Graceland. Memphis, Tennessee against an Eastern Conference team here at the FedEx Forum. The excitement of the NBA is on the way. I'm Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony, Hall of Famer Doris Burke, and another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, from the sidelines. Get him out, get him out. Now here's Allen. Just five to shoot. A shot off that time. Now the Grizzlies take it the other way. And Doris, hasn't it been fun watching the evolution of Jared Allen? My goodness. It certainly has, Kevin. This guy has proven he is an all-star caliber player. We know he's a double-double machine. He prides himself on hitting the glass. Any center on any team is going to have a problem if he gets near the cup because of his shot-blocking ability. Oh, above the rim, Mr. Garland. His teammates are loving it. On the wing, Bain. Pass to Adams. Brooks outside. At the elbow, it's Jackson. Back to Brooks. And the layup's good off the glass. Oh, the balance Brooks has is impressive. Able to work through the defense and still capitalize. Here's Mitchell. And the rejection by Jackson. And it's out of bounds. Oh, they say it was last touch by Jackson. Oh, Allen, right side. First 130 gone here in the first quarter. John Morant. And the whistle blows. First, first it's going to be on John Morant. First team foul. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Garland. Here's Mobley. Allen trying to break free. Offline with the baseline jump. Here's Payne. Pass to Jackson. Tries again. Mobley with the block. <laughs> Seven feet sneaking shots past Mr. Mobley is not easy. Send it back, Evan. Boy, nine times out of ten, that's going in. I'm sure he surprised himself with the miss. Garland. The slam dunk by Garland. Love seeing a point guard who can explode to the rim like that. Oh, great attitude and even a better finish. Boy, it's incredible how much explosive scoring ability can come from the lead guard position. That is a big-time play. Jackson misses. And so it's Mobley now who brings it up for the Cavaliers. And you know, for proof of what Morant's done for the Memphis franchise, look at the offensive numbers. Grizzlies have made huge steps forward every year. Allen shot is off. And Adams has got the ball here for the Memphis Grizzlies. Morant outside. Pass to Brooks. Remaining in the first. Two minutes. Six to shoot. On the wing, Bain. Shoots over a Coro. And again, Memphis no good. Greg, the improvement since Morant arrived has been very steady. And the Grizzlies went from the 20th rated offense in his rookie season to number 16 in his second year. And then all the way up to number five last season, Ja has turned him into a powerhouse. Here's Jackson. After two misses to start the game, he's on the board with that shot made. And that is quickly becoming Jackson's domain. He is such a strong finisher in the paint. So, timeout called here. The first for Cleveland. And Doris looking back at last year, the Cavs far exceed expectations. They played beyond their years. Such a young team that played with such maturity. And that was coming off some very lean years. To me, their talent is unmistakable. Give credit to the organization for drafting well and making key trades that have really elevated this roster. Now, here's Rubio. Stolen by Brooks. Here's Morant. And then Morant. Morant's it in. Yeah, that's.
fast fire right there. Moran practicing for the dunk contest. I see you, young fella. Lavert with it. Fires the three. The rebound by Steven Adams. And the Grizzlies leading by four. And finished off by Morant. Yeah, Steven Adams' instinct is to pass it first. And what instincts he has. He wow, wins. pretty play. Well, known for being a terrific passer, he shows you right there. Case in point. About seven seconds separating the shot Ricky game clocks. And Ricky Rubio foul. gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. To the inside. Jackson. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. And here's a guy that's not in coast mode. Jackson is going to give it all he has every minute he's on the floor. That's how he earns the M1. The Cavaliers trail by seven. It's Wolvert on the wing. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Gets it off. And that That's defensive the versatility the Jackson has is just incredible. Able to guard multiple positions due to that height and reach. And so it's the Memphis Grizzlies heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. Let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Grizzlies. And guys, they've done a great job beating their bigs inside. They are just punishing the opposition in the paint. And the other thing I love, how they're making the extra pass. They're not settling for the first shot. They're going from good to great. You know, Greg, we know to win at the highest level, you need your star players to show up in the big games. With that in mind, what's the key? You know, it, it's their will and their ability to fight. If you look at the great ones, even when things haven't gone their way, they, they continue to scratch and claw and do everything in their power to try and get the W. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Do you not love that by any means necessary attitude from Jared Allen, able to finish through the contact? And the Grizzlies leading by seven. Morant drives in. That one misses. Excellent D there from Allen. And doors for Darius Garland, playing point guard, runs in the family. That's exactly right, Kevin. Think about it. His father, Winston Garland, played seven seasons in the NBA. And while Darius had always wanted to follow in his father's footsteps, Winston will be the first to tell you that young one is already better. Here's a Coro. It's stolen by Adams. And here we go. Fast break in Moran's got it. Adams outside. At the elbow, it's Jackson. Stolen by Garland. And now it's Allen. Running. He can go all the way. Pass to Mitchell. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. The combination of power, aggression, and frame, and a willingness to embrace contact, Mr. Donovan Mitchell delivers. And the Grizzlies call their first time out of the game. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. Well, night in and night out, sometimes it's a battle of runs. Who has the most?
And here's Brooks. He'll bring it up for Memphis. They've led by as much as 10. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldrich. What's the latest, David? Thanks very much. Karis LeVert has become one of the game's best slashers. He says, honestly, I just go to the front of the rim and work on different spins. Getting more comfortable with both hands and finishing. Kyrie Irving did that when he was younger, and that's one of the ways he became a great finisher. Kevin, back to you. He is a great finisher. David, thanks. He's studying the greats, and it's paying off. Well, so often we're talking about Jared Allen's length, and he does it nicely on the offensive glass right there. Pass to Bain. Brooks outside. Morant with a wide open look. The Grizzlies with another miss. And here are the Cavaliers. They're rolling here with a nine point run. Now Brooks covered by Mitchell. Brooks outside. Pass to Morant. Mobley with the block. Out of and it's out of bounds. The Grizzlies able to retain possession here. Cavaliers substitution. Now about three minutes gone in the second quarter of basketball. And it just seems like Moran is always ready to outwork the defense. A big effort pays off to him there inside. And Mitchell gets it to go. Challenging the bigger defender, cutting him down to size with that one. It is not an easy task trying to convert against length. Give him credit for taking on that challenge. Well, the contact can't trip Moran up. He just glides past it and into his shot. And they're able to recover. The three from Garland. Tillman grabs the miss. And the Grizzlies leading by three. It's Brooks on the wing. To the middle. Here's Jackson. And he finishes nicely on the wing. Jackson's got seven points. And how about the strength of Jackson there? He uses it whenever he's going up inside and fighting through the contact. No one to blame on that one but himself. You get looks like that, you've got to take it back. Outside, Payne. Back to Morant. Shot clock at six. Inside. Garland with the block. Mobley, left side. The shot's good on the assist by Wade. In the painted area, Mobley just so effective. Hard to cover a guy who's got that kind of size so close to the cup. What an excellent post-entry pass. Good things happen when you make that next look. Mitchell looking it over. Over Bain. And that one's good, Mitchell. Mitchell's got eight points in the quarter. Now well, that's a bad shot until it goes through the net. And the foul called on Donovan Mitchell. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Moran. Eight points for him. On the wing, Bain. The Grizzlies with another miss. All alone from mid-range. They know he won't miss many of those. And that one's good, Austin. Now just a one-point Memphis lead. Boy, that's the vision and ability to deliver precise passes. Rubio completely on the point. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. It's the Grizzlies up by one. Live from the FedEx Forum, you're watching two. Hey. We've got second hand action for you, and if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Morant left side. Six on the shot clock. Memphis needs to get off a shot here. 
Who's the best young catalyst in the game? Some people will say Doncic, some will say Trey Young, and some might even say John Moran. Going up around New York City, Doris, Donovan Mitchell was around pro sports as a kid. He sure was, Kevin. His dad obviously worked in baseball. Donovan spent a ton of time in big league locker rooms. And how about this? During the 2010 fame decision from LeBron, Mitchell was actually in the crowd listening to it. One of the things about Donovan Mitchell's game that I love is he's got elite athleticism. There is speed, there's burst, and there's physical strength. This guy is very capable offensively. Left side, Adams. And Adams with the slam. Well, Stephen Adams is a formidable presence on the interior. Nice finish. Pass to Allen. Over Adams. Allen shot is off. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. And Kennard wide open. He shoots. Bain. Morant outside. Back to Bain. Here's Adams. They get it back. Tough possession there. They stayed with it, but they just couldn't make it. Pass to Allen. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. Mitchell right side. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Second team. Greg, an outstanding score. Jonathan Mitchell takes it to another level in the playoffs, doesn't he? Hey, Kevin, how about all of his averages go up come playoff time? Spider is a guy who wants the limelight and, like other stars, takes on more of a load in the postseason. Outside Williams. Tipped away. Pass to Conshaw. A three. Up is the rebound. Here's Adams. Wade with the block. Here's Allen. And it's Allen oh, slamming wow. it down. Well, this guy has got tremendous length and hops. Jared Allen makes it easy. Adams in the high post. Pass to Kennard. Here's Tillman. And he lays it straight in. Tillman's got his first points of the game. Hey, guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. Memphis leading by three. And now we're three minutes into the third quarter of play. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Now, Kennard. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Over Wade. Kennard shot is off. Well, that's a blown defensive coverage, but it doesn't matter. He cannot answer the bell. And it's Mitchell missing. And the foul Ooh, called on foul. Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell. That'll be his second foul second of the game. Foul. First team foul. Substitution on the court. The Grizzlies on offense. Just four points. That's all they've given up here in the second half. Pass to Conshaw. Back to Adams. Here's Conshaw. Here's Tillman. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. The Cavaliers trail by three. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. From deep green, the Cavaliers again can't hit. And here we go. The Grizzlies on a fast break. On the wing, Jones. Forty-three seconds left in the third quarter. Adams, the bounce pass. Out of bounds. Cleveland takes possession. That almost.
almost looked like bad communication. You hate to see that kind of mistake. And Cleveland making a change here. Pass to Mobley. Here's Osman. Back to Mobley. Misses and the dry spell continues. Memphis leading by three to the paint. Here's Jackson. Here's Conshaw. Brooks with no one around. And again, Memphis no good. Three quarters of play in a close game here. Grizzlies lead by three. And we're just moments away from the start of the fourth quarter. 27. And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter in what is still anybody's ballgame. And it's Rubio with the ball for Cleveland. It's a three-point game to the wing right side. Here's a Coro. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. They've led by as much as 10. Brooks feeling it out a bit. Here's Eldama. Pass to Concha. Five on the clock. Down low. And that one is stuck right through. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little bit. They're just too slow to react. You can't afford to sleepwalk through possessions. What's going on out there? And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Well, credit you for going for it, not settling, saying, I'm going to attack. Substitution on the court. So both teams making some changes here. We play just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. And here's Jackson. Shoots from 12. Goes back up. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. First personal foul. It's on Karis LaVert. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. And Memphis making a change here. And the Cavaliers call time here. All right, man. The first lady is at the forum. All ready to take the court. Give it up for your Blinker. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alden. Hey, Kevin, thanks. During that last break, I listened in to J.B. Bickerstaff's huddle. He was not pleased. He said, you guys look dead out there. Told him they've got to play with more activity. And then he said, this is not going to cut it. I have to see who's going to step it up, guys. All right, thank you, David. Inside, here's Osman. There he is. Nails the baby hook. Here is a guy who is not shy about sharing the basketball. If you are Who's open, Darius Garland will find you. In He's terms of so entertainment far. factors, Second team can five. any current player top Ja Morant? I mean, we've him. seen Ja with some ja. vicious in-game throwdown. The Cavaliers making a switch here. Hey, Greg, talking about the great Ja Morant, this guy is just flat out fun to watch. Well, Ja's been known to go off for 50 on any given night, but he also looks for others, dropping some nasty dimes. Morant has an insane combination of athleticism and skill. This guy can do it again. And it's Desmond Bain with the foul. First team foul. That's foul number two for him. substitution.
Six. Mobley left side. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. Releases. A nice shot by Okoro. Okoro's got four points this quarter. Yeah, Evan Mobley might be a big man, but boy, how about the touch on that pass right there? You can see why they go to this guy so often. More often than not, he's going to be very efficient like he is right here. Breaking down some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Grizzlies. They have been a wrecking ball defensively. Coming up with steals, being active with their hands, and just doing a terrific job of disrupting the rhythm. And their fast break has also been a key metric in this one. They have had a significant advantage in transition over the course of this game. Over in the corner, Allen. And there's the foul. It's on Steven Adams. That'll be his second foul of the game. Second team foul. Allen outside. Back to Mitchell. Six on the shot clock. Looking for Allen. He gets it there. Count it good. There's nothing like a big man with agility. Jared Allen operating well in the pick and roll right now. To the inside. Adam. Steven. Oh, yeah. That's what I thought. And to quit. Let's go.